what if you never slept again? Not just a rough night or a stressful week. Never. No REM cycles. No dreams. No rest. Just a lifetime of wakefulness stretched out like a fraying wire across endless days and nights. Welcome to a reality where sleep vanishes and the human body pays the price. Let's rewind. Why do we sleep in the first place? Sleep isn't a luxury. It's a biological necessity. During deep sleep, your body releases growth hormones, repairing muscles and tissue. Your brain flushes out toxins like beta amyloid, the same gunk linked to Alzheimer's. Miss that and your mind starts to choke on its waste. From an evolutionary standpoint, sleep conserved energy. Early humans were tucked into caves at night, hidden from predators, hearts beating slower, minds resting, and calories saved. Sleep kept us alive, but it also made us smarter. During REM sleep, our brains consolidate memories. What you learned during the day gets hardwired overnight. Emotions are processed, traumas softened, and insights sparked. No sleep, no retention, no insight, just mental fog. So what happens when you stop sleeping? Let's start the countdown. Hour 6 to 12, you feel fine, maybe even hyper, but your reaction time slows. Your focus drifts. You start blinking hard to stay alert. What you don't realize, your brain has already begun forcing microsleeps, little blackouts lasting a few seconds. You're asleep with your eyes open, and you don't even know it. Hour 12 to 24, irritability spikes. You snap at coworkers, forget appointments, misplace your phone, and find it in the freezer. Cortisol, the stress hormone, surges. Your body's trying to stay awake, but your brain is paying the price. By the end of day one, your ability to focus is like someone legally drunk. Day two, shadows move where they shouldn't. You hear your name when no one's there. Hallucinations creep in. Your brain can't tell dreams from reality because you're not giving it any dreams at all. Day three, your short-term memory collapses. Someone gives you directions? Gone in seconds. Conversations loop in your head like skipping records. You forget what you were saying mid-sentence. Microsleeps become frequent. Your brain demands unconsciousness, and it's taking it by force. By now, your immune system is cracking. White blood cells drop. Your body's frontline defense against illness? Compromised. Emotionally, you're a mess. The amygdala, your brain's panic center, goes into overdrive. Everything feels like a threat. The prefrontal cortex, your rational filter, shuts down. You feel what you can't control, say what you shouldn't, and trust no one. Day four to seven, your metabolism spirals. Blood sugar regulation, broken. Hunger hormones surge, you eat constantly but never feel full. You gain weight, fast. Your heart rate rises. Blood pressure spikes. Cortisol is chewing through your arteries. Your risk of heart attack or stroke shoots through the roof. And beyond that, you're in life-threatening territory. There's a real, terrifying condition called fatal familial insomnia. A rare prion disease that strips people of their ability to sleep. Within months, their brains deteriorate. Within a year or two, they die. In lab studies, Rats forced to stay awake for over two weeks also died. Their organs failed. Their bodies couldn't take it. No matter how strong your willpower is, your biology has a limit. But could you train your body to need less sleep? History is filled with attempts. Leonardo da Vinci allegedly followed the Uberman schedule, 20-minute naps every four hours. Others have tried Everyman or Dimaction sleep routines polyphasic patterns designed to cheat biology. Some swear by them, most crash hard. Why? Because REM and deep NREM sleep come in cycles. And when you slice your night into fragments, your body misses the crucial phases. You feel productive until the fatigue hits like a freight train. There are people about one 3% who naturally thrive on four to six hours of sleep. They carry rare mutations in the December 2nd gene. These people are outliers, not examples. Insomniacs, by contrast, don't choose wakefulness. 
they suffer it. And over time, it wrecks their mental and physical health. Caffeine? Modifinal? They're bandages, not solutions. You can't outhack evolution. Eventually, your brain will demand real sleep. And it's not just personal, it's societal. Sleep deprivation costs the U.S. economy billions in lost productivity. Drowsy driving? Nearly 100,000 crashes a year, about 1,000 deaths, just from people falling asleep at the wheel. Mental health? Deeply tied to rest. Chronic lack of sleep is linked to depression, anxiety, even bipolar episodes. Hospitals have used sleep deprivation as a form of torture because it breaks people faster than most methods. Even the military experiments with sleep, special op soldiers are trained to resist deprivation, make critical decisions under duress. But there's a cost, ethical, psychological, and neurological. So, if you're already struggling to sleep, what can you do? Start with the basics. A consistent schedule, bedtime and wake time, even on weekends. Shut off screens an hour before bed. Make your room a sleep sanctuary. Dark, quiet, and cool. Still can't sleep? Look into cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia CBTI. It retrains your brain to resist the spiral of worry and restlessness. For some, melatonin helps short-term, but be cautious with sleep aids. If insomnia lasts more than three weeks, or if you experience paralysis, apnea, or extreme fatigue, see a specialist. Untreated sleep deprivation cuts your life short. It's as dangerous as smoking. Imagine a world where sleep vanished from the entire human species. Productivity might skyrocket for a moment, but soon civilization would unravel. No innovation, no empathy, no clarity, just fatigue, fear, and breakdown. Sleep isn't wasted time. It's the engine that keeps us human. So tonight, when you lie down and close your eyes, remember, those quiet hours are doing more for you than you realize. If this journey kept your brain buzzing, hit like, subscribe, and tell us your wildest no sleep story in the comments. And now, do something radical in our overcaffeinated world. Turn off the lights, power down your thoughts, and go to sleep.